Journey Man 2013. I'm gonna give you a little uh, art car walk around. Just, uh, distracted by the still walker and this other contraption. Um, yeah, so here we have a uh, gently used uh, sinking freighter. She's the MV Nain Rouge, uh, built on a 2006 Chevrolet W3500 Tiltmaster, 12,000 pound GVW. Some of the unique design considerations include it's been sinking. Uh, first thousand feet are under the under the sand. Sorry, distracted. Okay. Um, so things about art cars that are kind of important to design. Uh, when you mount your generator, you want it so that the exhaust aims out the out the hole in the side, as we have this one, of course. Um, it's built 12 inches off the ground with. Um, flap, but that way we can load it down and go through any uh, any ruts that might be uh, in the way, and also uh, soft playa. Um, here we have the front end, this is actually supported by metal beams, but the front two feet are not. This is a six foot sort of snout. Um, these, these grills uh, are for the headlights that work. Uh, when you have them on, of course, you can sort of see that they they are I'm giving a, a walk around here. So uh, because they don't project very far forward, we put a uh, flashlight up here, but it, it's in the middle one. I don't know where it is. It's kind of a bad sign. Might have fallen down. Uh, oh yeah, it's up there. It's just it's just aimed poorly. It's aimed up. Um, okay, so the door, you might wonder how do you get into this, it starts with this latch, and then you have the, the door, it only opens to here, basically, you step over, and jump in, roll down the window, and then close the door, and then close the outer door, and... Yeah, so that's how the door works. This is the other door. It folds up. We got some uh, dishwasher springs, but basically it folds up like this. There's another deadbolt. We had some casualties last year on some sharp edges, so we've got it covered in stuffed animal fur. We've got the grab handle. A sub, Jenny. So from up here, we can control our stereo. The mixer goes here. We've been having some troubles with it. Um, 12 inch car stereo sub, 600 watt amp, wired into the uh, truck electrical system. We have our color changing LEDs here, and this little handy remote. I can change it to whatever I want. I usually like red. Uh, same with the one in the front. This PA system is actually so the driver can talk to the people in the back. Very important. Less important for the people in the back, talk to the driver. So we have these little, uh, they're like, it's actually a toy, uh, kind of a Barbie walkie-talkie cell phone toy that we can use to talk to each other. Um, LED rope lighting, it all runs on 110 volts, uh, draws about 200 watts, so it's very energy efficient. Um, here's a unique design consideration. We have an air intake extension for the air cleaner on the truck. Very important because when you're driving, you kick up a lot of dust. There's also dust storms. Right here, we're about 12 feet off the ground, so there's a lot less dust up here. And uh, keeps the air filter, which costs like 80 bucks on a commercial truck, keeps it from clogging up quickly. Um, one of the things I probably would have done differently if I were to redo this, I would definitely finish 
making a platform in this area. The structure was definitely strong enough to handle it, but just never gave, never got around to it. Oh, so what is the structure? It's actually a pallet rack, and it's um, like industrial shelving, and it's rated for. They're each rated for a thousand pounds each. So if I have uh, say 15 people up here, that should be comfortably within its uh, margin of safety by overloading it to a factor of two. Um, yeah, that's about it. A lot of cool things you see out here. We got the shark art car, of course the man himself. Christina is down there. It's a yacht on a cement mixer chassis. I camped with them in 2011, and I don't know why, but for some reason by 2012 I wanted to build my own. Anyway, so that's the Nain Rouge. Thanks for checking it out.